Good afternoon once again. I'm Keith Ranford from 7 Eyewitness News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. All new this afternoon, Erie County Executive Mark Polencars is calling on New York State Department of Health to immediately put Emerald South Nursing Home into receivership and be managed by another group of owners. Now this comes after a string of incidents at the nursing home in South Buffalo. The State Department of Health is currently investigating multiple incidents here. The most recent involves allegations that a former administrator molested a patient who had Alzheimer's disease. Our I-team is learning more today about current Catholic Bishop Richard Malone's involvement in moving a priest who had been accused of inappropriate contact with a minor. Hundreds of internal documents obtained by the 7 Eyewitness News I team show that in the case of a longtime priest, Father Art Smith, Bishop Malone here in Buffalo, returned Smith to the ministry and ignored three new allegations against him and repeatedly put Father Smith around minors. Now, the diocese maintains it acted appropriately here. You can read our I-Team lead investigator Charlie Speck's full report. Right now, we have it for you on our WKBW News app. According to the Buffalo News today, Pottery Barn Kids is closing its Walden Galleria location next month. Right now, prices slash by about 30 to 50 percent on all of the inventory here. That includes beds and furniture. The store is expected to close on September 23rd. On this Thursday, let's check in with Autumn Lewandowski once again and your most accurate forecast. It is one gorgeous day as well. We had some rain yesterday. We had those northwesterly winds whipping around and now on 7 Super Doppler, we are high and dry. We still have a little bit of a breeze out there, but it's a very pleasant one with temperatures in the middle 70s. And with clear skies tonight, we're dropping down into the low 60s. Another gorgeous day on tap for our Friday. Take a look at the next chance of rain. It's not going to be within the next 24 four hours even into our Saturday morning things are looking nice and dry as well by late Saturday there is a shot for us to have some rain showers so our temperatures and lower humidity levels stick with us near 80 on Friday and then it gets warmer and more humid by the end of the weekend.